until after a court hearing November 2nd. So I've waited until now to respond. First, I want to say how deeply I appreciate the encouragement and the support over these past days from so many listeners. It has made a very difficult time easier, and I thank you from my heart. Many letters and faxes generously say how grateful you are that some of your own past actions are buried in merciful oblivion that will never come to light. Would that I could say the same. However, it isn't news to my longtime listeners and those who read my books that I've undergone profound changes over the course of my life, and most important of which is my journey from basic atheist to observant Jew. In my 20s, I was my own moral authority. The inadequacy of that way of life is painfully obvious today. At the same time, my early experiences have taught me how much better it is to live by an objective and absolute standard of right and wrong, preferably a standard set by God. And that is the hard-won wisdom I try to pass along to others as I preach, teach, and nag every day on this program. I want, though, to take a moment to address a couple of specific allegations that are simply not true. Most importantly, 23 years ago when I was 28, I legally separated from my first husband, filed for divorce in the state of New York, and moved to California. Subsequently, I had a relationship with a man who was both mentor and friend, a relationship that has never been a secret. I am mystified as to why, 23 years later, this 80-year-old man would do such a morally reprehensible thing. So despite acute embarrassment, but with thanks to my strong religious beliefs and the support of family, friends, and so many of you, I'm still here. And you'll find me here today, tomorrow, and the next day for as long as you want to keep tuning in. Yeah, the KGR.